Touch when you want it, turbulence when you don't. It's not quite right grammatically, but it made sense to us, and we kept coming back to that phrase while we developed Skyview Touch. While most of us use tablets and smartphones every day, you hold those things in your hands and have pretty firm control of them. In the cockpit, though, your panel sometimes moves, at least as far as your outstretched arm can tell. When you're faced with turbulence, things can get hard to control pretty quick, and Skyview Touch was designed to meet that challenge. Skyview Touch retains all of Skyview's buttons and joystick knobs. It uses the same soft menu system as well. This lets you choose the controls that make the most sense for the conditions. When you're in smooth air, the convenience and fluidity of touch controls are great. In turbulence, though, you'll be glad to have the precision control of the conventional hard buttons and knobs. Since Skyview Touch has the same form factor as non-touch Skyview displays, all existing 10-inch displays can be upgraded with no panel cutting or even a single wire change. It's a drop-in replacement. Let's take a closer look at how it works. Skyview Touch uses touch in the ways that reduce pilot workload the most. For example, where our non-touch Skyview system has shallow soft menu controls, Skyview Touch makes things even simpler. For example, touch the transponder status area, and the menu system reconfigures itself to present those options. We can squawk a code as assigned by air traffic control, and then probably ident. You'll notice that I'm touching the menu labels on the screen. You can do that, or you can use the physical buttons. It's up to you. Similarly, tapping the autopilot status area surfaces those controls. Tapping the clock brings up your up and down timers. Notice how Skyview highlights the menu for a moment to draw your attention and let you know it's changed. On the primary flight display, tap anything that is adjustable to instantly assign one of the joystick knobs to adjust that parameter. Tap Heading to adjust the heading bug. Tap the altitude tape to adjust the altitude bug. Tap the vertical speed tape to adjust the vertical speed bug. And tap the airspeed tape to adjust the airspeed bug. These are often used to set targets for the autopilot to follow, or just use them as reminders. Tap the altimeter setting, or barrow, to adjust that as well. When you touch the information area next to the HSI, you'll cycle through all of the GPS and radio navigation sources that are installed in the aircraft. Skyview's own flight plan, for example, is called Skyview here. The map works just as you'd expect it to, especially if you're familiar with using maps on your phone or tablet. You can look around by dragging the map. Zoom in or out by pinching or spreading two fingers. Or, you can use the plus or minus buttons here as well. To get more information about anything you're interested in, like an airport or airspace, just tap it. If there's more than one thing under the place you've tapped, tapping the left and right sides of the information area will select them while Skyview highlights them on the screen. If the information that pops up on the screen isn't quite enough, just press the info button for more details. So now that we're on the info page, touch the different tabs at the top of the window to see different categories of information, like runways, comm frequencies, and airport facility directory remarks. Let's say you've been looking around your route or have panned far away from your aircraft. Simply touch the bar at the top of the map to go back to following your aircraft. North up and track up views can be toggled simply by tapping the north arrow. Frequently used features like the nearest list and Skyview's flight planner are also just a tap away. Once you're in the nearest list, scroll through quickly with your finger. To add something to your flight plan, select it, tap the Add to Flight Plan button, choose where you want to add the waypoint to your flight plan, and then tap Insert. It's really that simple. So there's a quick overview of Skyview Touch. For more information on the new Skyview, go to www.thenewskyview.com.